Hello, 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 hello. Have you ever wanted your top anime villains to win? I know I have. Specifically, Team Rocket. Because they were always blasting off again, man. Rest in peace, Team Rocket. But anyway, man, this is going to be from Watch Mojo. Top 10 anime villains we wanted to win. Let's go, man. Three, two, one. Ah, come on, they're not all bad. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime villains we wanted to I wanted win. the light win. I wanted the light win too, though. I will become the god of this new world. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe. I really wanted light content. to win. For this list, we're looking at antagonists in anime, who, for one reason or another, we found ourselves rooting for. Since we'll be discussing why She's they cute. I like the ice the end, you can be darn sure there's going to be a lot of spoilers down the line. Kigatsuru. Damaru. Number 10, Dr. Gel, Space Dandy. Your generosity is boundless. Out of all the missions that the Gorgol Empire gave you, I know why Space Dandy like that. Aloha Oe is probably the worst, since more often than not, you'll end up humiliated or, you know, dead. I assume you're prepared to take responsibility. This genius gorilla like alien may have the intellect, but against the charisma and sheer dumb luck of the grooviest pompadour in all of the cosmos, all of his attempts end in failure. While we're all for Dandy getting out of any situation unscathed, you have to feel sorry for the poor doctor, right? No! Number 9, Ubito Uchiha, Naruto Shippuden. Hasn't this guy been through enough? The former friend of Kakashi has suffered more tragedy than most can comprehend. This includes getting half of his body crushed, fighting back from the brink of death, only to watch his best friend kill his love interest. With so much loss and hatred inside him, is it any surprise that he swore loyalty to Madara Uchiha, took over the Akatsuki, and started an entire war all for revenge? Did they just say Akatsuki? Kind of excessive, but at some point you just wanted him to come out on top for once. Ika? Number 8, Kirei Kotomine, Fate Zero. There's a thin line between sympathy and loathing for a villain who was literally born without the capacity to enjoy anything but the misery of others. And after seeing all of the depraved Damn. things the so-called hero Kiritsugu was up to, you kinda wanted the mad priest to find his happiness. Even if it's totally f***ed up. <laughs> I remember this priest versus the guy with the guns. Serving as a mediator for the Fifth Holy Grail War, his shit disturbing conspiracy with Gilgamesh was the highlight of the show. At least it wasn't a total loss. Kotomine Kire. Kono Keshiki Kosoma. Omae no Motome Hoshteita Monoda. Number seven, Yami Bakura. Bakura, man. One who will possess all the Millennium items. And I shall use the combined. I even fuck Pegasus up, bro. The tenacity of this guy. While other villains were stealing the spotlight, he was lurking in the shadows, just waiting for the opportunity Merrick. to strike. The spirit of the Bandit King, which now inhabits the body of the frail Bakura through the Millennium Ring, seeks ultimate power and will do whatever it takes to get it back. The Lord of Darkness is here. Fond <laughs> of throwing his victims into the Shadow Realm, he's actually sent him to the Shadow Realm. Somehow, just keeps coming back. How's that for commitment? It means I can't be destroyed. You haven't seen the last of me. Number six, Toru Adachi, Persona 4, the animation. The fog will soon consume our world, and all the humans will turn into shadows. Okay, we're not saying he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, throwing people into TVs is never something we condone. Oops, I forgot about that. But for all his faults, he was easily one of the most lovable members of the cast. Sure, his sudden heel turn did bring about his psychotic side, and sure, he didn't seem to regret his actions. Sure, he tried to kill some innocent high school students. But hey, even old Dojima could bring himself to be happy that they caught the killer. Leave me. I'm just about done for anyway. Number five, Team Rocket. Team Rocket! Team Rocket! Bless up Team Rocket will be on my number one. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Me number two for me. Talk about going beyond the call of duty. The dastardly trio of Jesse James and Yow Might have been in would be first. Team, Team Rocket would be years. second. And while they have failed every single time, you gotta give them credit not only for never giving up, but also coming up with the craziest schemes in order to steal from what is literally a child. Mm -hmm. Sure, they've come within a hair's breadth of victory time and time again, but it never seems to last. We the off again, faces. Number four, Ezdeath, Akame got killed. 
I mean, I didn't know much of this death. She is cute. When it comes to battle or matters of the heart, sadistic in nature and never hesitating to slaughter innocents for the sake of her mission. It's pretty shocking she fell so hard for protagonist Tatsumi, who seemed to bring out her lost humanity. While her actions were deplorable, we couldn't help but pine for her to let that whirlwind romance guide her towards a better life. Also, boobs. Number three, Slain Troyard. I belong to you, come on. Unrequited love can sure be a bitch. A fiercely devoted follower to the princess, Slain was originally a peaceful young man who would do anything for the girl he loves. Unfortunately, that desire got slowly twisted until he was waging war against the entirety of the Earth in her name. Despite having a few anger issues and a tendency to solve things with military might, we can't help but want him to triumph over his romantic rival and sentient loaf of bread. You know. True. Number two, Yoshikage Kira, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Don't know much from Kira, but... What is it about this show that keeps on creating such entertaining psychopaths? This mass murderer who loves killing just as much as he wants to be left alone is demented as they come, yet still manages to lose charisma. By shifting the episodes into Kira's perspective, we can't help but hope that he gets out of each of the increasingly wacky situations. Of course, all that came crashing down with several Aura Aura Auras to the face. Damn. Number one, Light Yagami, Death Note. I am Kira. He was so close. Whether Two Kiras. To be more of an anti-hero or a full-on psycho, there's no denying Light's choice to kill all those that he deemed as evil left him pretty morally questionable. Two Kiras. This world is rotting, and those who are making it rot deserve to die. Try as we might, however, we just can't hate him. It's that simple. His intellect, talent for manipulation, and growing psychosis made him a creepily endearing character who was on the verge of achieving his goal, only to falter at the last hurdle. While his defeat was truly bittersweet, there will always be that part of us that hoped that Light would manage to climb his way to the throne of God. True. Hey, man. Exactly as planned. Where the season two at, man? Do you agree with our picks? Where is the season two? From Watch Mojo. I have been played, bamboozled, and swindled. I have been speckledorfed. I have been Dumbledore, and that's a guy, you know, man, but I'm just saying, man, we're at season two of uh, Death Note. Um, anyway, if you like the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I don't know if I would put Kira from, uh, what's, Jojo Bizarre Adventure, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's Jojo Bizarre Adventure, but I know it's Jojo Bizarre Adventure, but I don't know which one exactly it is, but I think it's Diamond Something, Diamond Something, I know it's Diamond Something. Uh, I wouldn't put that on second. I put that on third, cause Team Rocket has always been there, man. Team Rocket has been there for me, man. I, I don't know, man. Team Rocket has been there for 20 years. It's how long Pokemon's been out for, but t over 20 years. I started watching Pokemon when I was small, like one or two. For that to be out for 20 years, no, actually, not even two, one. I think Pokemon's been out for over 22, 23, maybe 24, maybe. I know I started watching Pokemon around like one and a half, two, one, one-ish, two. And man, it, it clicked with me and I've never given up on Pokemon, man. I, I mean, I might not have... I stopped watching Pokemon after Diamond and Pearl... Cause that's where it got outrageous, you know. Uh, actually, no. I kind of like the black and white. It was okay, but the original Pokemon series was the best. Uh, Advanced Battle, something like that. I think it's Advanced Battle or something like that. I actually like that when he's traveling with traveling with May, and uh, was it Brock? Was it Brock? May, I know May. He had May and her brother. I think it was Brock too. Um, kind of miss Miss Misty, cause Misty was actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna get the heck out of you. Like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Tell me what you thought of this list in uh comment section below. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, like I said before. And uh, you have any requests, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll get to it. Bye.